This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 23 of Path of Exile on the PlayStation 5. I'm going to crack straight in and we're off to the Templar Chords. Haven't moved people, recording it immediately after the last part in fact. It's studious. Uh, a few ways to go here actually. They are still, they're the ones that I'm wearing, those types of boots. Yeah, bit of shit though. Music's awesome. about the siege ballistas that move didn't use one arrow not one arrow A big bit in the middle I've not discovered.
Well, that'll do it, won't it? <laughs> Bombarded by ballistas. Oh, we found a door. We have missed a massive area, though. Chamber of Innocence. Let's go visit where we've not been. Too much XP to ignore down here, people. Overly sure how. Oh, it's over there. Actually, we didn't. Oh no, there is a big bit in the middle we've not seen yet. There it be. Oh, fucking hell. What the hell was killing me there? I wasn't paying attention, I was just looking at things I was going to pick up. Must be some aftermath from that guy that died. Christ almighty, that was close. Hey, well, that could be a bit of a dead end down here, to be fair. Which it is, but there's some XP in it at least. Alright, let's get our way back then. Bloody hell, look at the path back. <laughs> what the shit? Still not too bad at covering ground though, to be fair. There we are. Oh, blimey. <clears throat> We've got a waypoint. Yeah, we're alright for stash at the minute. Let's keep going. Well, inventory space, I should say.
<laughs> I don't even know where that guy went. It was that chaotic. Hmm. Nobody's reading those ones out then. realize those mana flasks hold six charges which is pretty sweet like whoever the main boss was of that fight just vanished on me just ran off because you usually get like a whispering essence or something out of those guys Sniper bow. Touch a little gladiator about it, that's some of that music there. Then a full circle to the waypoint, I think.
Actually, you're on our way to a boss fight, I think. of innocence. I think that's just a book. Yeah. Well, let's get that skill point spent. 20% uh, increased critical strike chance with totem skills, plus 10% critical strike with multiplier with totem skills. Same on the other one, I think. Alright. One more to bind them all, and then, well, two more, one there, and then I can do the middle one. Got most of them before they even got to me. I feel like these uh, color, these sort of stained glass windows readings are a little bit of a cop out. Could have done with somebody reading them, really. I know sometimes it's just you've got to read it, but I feel like all the stuff should be read out by an actor. It's not the sort of game you want to stop and you know read things, is it? I think at some point my little golem died, I didn't even realise. Go on Helena, there's another one for you. Movement speed and extra attacks, rank 2. How do I get that? I guess that means I can put movement speed on items now, does it? That's sweet. Life per enemy killed, life per enemy killed, uh, man per enemy killed.
Well, I think we've milked the hell out of that map. It should be a bit down the bottom we haven't done though, I think. Well... There's a bit up the top, certainly. There's a, possibly a bit in the middle. It's a dead end. Hmm... It's going to be a bloody dead end there as well, now that I've run all the way around to it. It's one of those stupid books, I think. Yeah, there's that guy that ran away previously. I thought that. I thought I missed one of those. Uh. Weeping essence of suffering. Another, well, a five, first five on a weapon I've seen. Beckin' Arson Shate. There's a bloody walk back that. the doorway. Sanctum of Innocence. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I've got no space left in the inventory. Oh, what am I thinking? Yeah, just use a portal scroll. What you thinking? did that. That's prudent sacred. I don't know why I've got so many flasks. I mean, I'm never going to use them, am I? <laughs> What's that all about? Sell it, Steve. Not that I'm a hoarder or anything. Boss fight, feels like. The world must be cleansed of impurity. Yeah, feeling slightly under armoured for this guy. Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ, yeah. 
Yeah. Keep on moving, keep on sticking the ballistas down. Seconds. Oh, he's got a second bloody move, has he? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> fucking hell. It's fucking God. Bloody nonsense that is. Might as well be wearing me silk fucking pyjamas. We're too far away from getting him, to be fair. Just fast enough to keep up with that, aren't we? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> As if. <laughs> Fucking died at the same time, are you? Sin. It's a sin. Dun, 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 dun. It's a sin. Right, I can't do. I need to speak to Sin first. I am Sin, the forgotten one. Would that humanity could forget all of my kind. Perhaps with your help, that might still come to pass. For now, the blinding light has been dimmed and darkness floods in to fill the void. The desperate and depraved set a feast for their lord incumbent, Kitava, the ravenous one. Ah, I knew you should have picked the stuff up. Now oh, that's just a cutscene. Not sure I've ever seen a cutscene in this. Should Kitava accept their invitation, there is but one thin sliver of hope for us all. My brother's sign of purity. Look to it in the choking passages of Templar reverence. It shall be your torch when night falls at last. Yes, well none of it was worth much anyway. Hey, what we're we meant to do now? Travel back to the Templar courts. Uh, okay. Find the ossuary. Search the ossuary for sign of purity. Talk to Lanny for your reward. All right, okay. Well, it's probably quicker to teleport, isn't it? Teleport back again. You deserve recognition for what you have done. You've freed us from Templar oppression. Yet I fear you may have defeated the lesser of two evils. Still, take something. You'll be needing it in the dark times to come. Hey, I've not used any of these gems yet. 
place into an allocated jewel slot on the passive skill tree to remove extra removers. Yeah. It doesn't say what it is, does it? Well, that's got to be magic -y, that's got to be dexy, and that's got to be strength, surely. Once Kitava has gobbled up every scrap of Oriathan flesh, sucked every Oriathan bone dry of marrow, he'll turn his endless hunger to Nama Kanui and the whole Karui archipelago. As you know, the Karui will fight, and they'll fight hard, but they're going to need all the help they can get. And I know of three treasures that might just make the difference. They were taken when the Templar raided Nama Kanui. A whip woven of Hinekora's hair. A tooth that Tukohama ripped from his own mouth. A fish hook that was once the jawbone of Valoko. Together, they're known as Kitava's torments and lie within the reliquary that borders Oriath Square. I saw them with my own eyes when delivering messages to the scholars there. Please, go to the reliquary and claim those treasures before Kitava's children do. Very well. Yeah, well those, let's see what that was on actually. Yeah, dex, plus 13 to dexterity. 18% increased attack, critical strike chance while dual wielding. I think you can only socket them when you've actually got a point to spend though. Uh, we're down there at the minute, but there was one up here, there you go, that's got an empty socket in it. So you can put a jewel in there basically. But you need to be, well you need to be in line with it as well, so you need to have got there first and then you socket it in. I thought I had more of those actually. I'm assuming you can't put them in the gems thing. Nope. I'll put it in there. I don't know why I've got that one in there either. I thought I had some red ones. But anyway. Hey, not overly sure where I'm meant to be going. She wants us to go to the reliquary. It's optional, right enough. Travel to the Chamber of Innocence. All right. Must be a, we must stumble across the reliquary thing. Well, there's a Chamber of Innocence, so yeah, that must take us to somewhere else then. Aye, right, we've got an exclamation mark. What in damnation have you done? Bannon, yeah. You've destroyed him, and yet I hear the voice of innocence, begging for our forgiveness, asking for our help, you and I. I heard him the moment the High Templar fell, whispering inside my damn skull, his heart beating within my chest. Innocence protects us now, holds fast the door against the murderous tide that rushes to meet us. He wants you to pass through that door, to bring order to the chaos beyond. I don't understand any of this. Moments ago, I was just a soldier obeying his High Templar, Bannon the Nobody. Now, my guard lays inside my head, telling me to let you through that door and to make my way to Overseer's Tower. If it still stands. It does? All right. I don't know what's waiting for you out there, but should you survive it, I'll see you at Overseer's Tower. Hmm. Travel back through the Templar courts. Really? You're going to make me go through areas twice now? Find the ossuary. Oh, oh, I see. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're slagging it off, and now there's actually a reason. It's all in flames. I like it. Ooh. 
Nice. Back to the good music again. That's just confusing. It's telling me there's doors and I can't go through them. What the shite is that? I don't even think I've gone in any kind of <laughs> structured direction or anything. I've just been running and enjoying the fighting.
that side's done. Well, that should, well, yeah. Covered a, a lot more of it than I thought, to be fair. I thought I'd missed quite a lot. Gold mask with four sockets. More of a mage you want that, I think. Can you get three things out like that? Well, there's the door. The ruined square. Is that what we were looking for? I don't think it is. It says the ossuary. Bits of it I hadn't discovered right enough. It's another bit down here. Well, other than going all the way back to the other side, that's probably it, I think. We'll assume that this is the door we're looking for. The ruined square. That's not where we came from, is it? Well, it all seems a little bit fresh. You've entered the ruined square and a bunch of green writing came up. I've no idea what that meant. Not too far from a level up here, actually. Holy shit, what the hell was that? The standoff, another divination card, I think. Waypoint. Ah, there's the ossuary, and it's right by the waypoint, which is superb. So we can just go and tank the hell out of this area, and we can just waypoint our way back here if we want to. Hey, did activate it, didn't we? Well, there must be enough point, enough level up, uh, enough enemies to level up in here. Surely, to goodness. So close now. We're edging toward level 50, aren't we? I'm not sure what we're on at the minute. Is it 48, 49?
Oh, we already hit level 50. Bloody hellfire. Blimey, people. We hit a massive landmark and I didn't even notice. Freaky boys online. Highland Blade. Whoa, the fuck. Yeah, I can't run into it. It's quite cool, though. Come on, come at me, where are you? Where's all the enemies? level up out of this fight surely ah, level 51 let's fire it straight in we know where it's going that's it one more after this and we've got our totem mastery Another 10 plus 10% 10 crit to critical strike multiplier with totem skills and 20% increased critical strike chance with totem skills. as well go up there. Oh, there's another door over there, look. Oh, the reliquary, yeah, that's the, the side mission, in fact. Oh, nice. That was very kind. Gives us a waypoint. Which is actually a perfect time. So we can actually bounce straight back to the reliquary and to the ruined square, which is perfect for both quests. The reliquary. Well, as it happens, we could bounce back and do some selling. Not actually, um, I feel like we'll pick stuff up, but I'm not sure how much. Yes. Yeah, not too much, was it? Not sure I'll ever use that flask. 
Well, mind you, you never know what you might run into boss-wise, I suppose. Stick it in the flask collection. Divination time, come on! Do 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 do. Well, that's marvellous, that is, people. And that sets us up quite nicely, doesn't it, for the next part, I think. We're on about 52 minutes or thereabouts. 53, nearly 54 minutes, people. Nearly a goddamn hour is what it was. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Well, there you go, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Path of Exile on the PlayStation 5. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.